All right, so this is question two. Yeah, so question two is also simple. It's asking us to find the exact value of the following, leaving your answer in uh, the third form where necessary. Yeah, so they are asking us to find um, these trick ratios. So there are basically, I think, a lot of ways you can use to find these, um, the trigonometric ratio of the, what is the angles in short, or to find the solutions of these three ratios. All right, so first of all, you need to know, let me say this, you need to know the values of, um, you need to know the values of um, uh, the solutions of special angles. So I'll start first by showing you how you find uh, solutions of special angles. So I'm going to write um, numbers, or let me write the special angles first. So we have zero degrees, we have uh, 30 degrees, we have 45 degrees, then we have, um, we have 30, 45, then we have uh, 60 degrees, and we also have 90 degrees. So I'm going to write numbers from zero to four. So I'm going to write zero, one, two, three, four. Then I'm going to divide everything, or before I divide, I'm going to square root everything. Then the answers after square rooting, I'll get zero there. The square root of one is one, the square root of two is an irrational number, so you leave it like that. Square root of three is also an irrational number, you leave it, you leave it like that. Square root of four is two. Then I'm going to divide everything by two. So the answers that I'm going to get are solutions of what? Sine theta. So zero divided by two, the answer is zero. Uh, one divided by two, I'll say 0 0.5, or if you want, you can just leave it as half, still the same. Okay, let me just leave it as a fraction, it's better that way. Then let me demarcate. And then, the root of two divided by two, we still have the root of two over two. Root three divided by two, we still have root three over two. Then two divided by two, the answer is one. So sine zero degrees, the answer is zero. Sine, sine 30, the answer is half. Sine 45, the answer is root two over two. Sine um, 60, the answer is uh, root three over two sine 90, the answer is one. And then apart from that, you can also find the values for cos theta. So for cos theta, I'm going to write the same answers for sine, but I'll start from this side. So the first um, number this side is one, so I'm going to write one there. The second number is root three over two, I'm going to write it there. Then the third number is root two over two, so I'm going to write my root two over two there. And then the third number is uh, this one here, one over two. So I'm going to write my one over two there. Then the last one is zero, zero there. So same, the same thing I was, say, I was doing is what you can do even here. This is how you find them. So you say cos zero, the answer is one. Cos uh, 30, the answer is root three over two. Cos 45, the answer is root two over two. So to find the values for tan, you simply just divide um, their numbers because according to trigonometric identities, we know to say tan theta is equal to sine theta over cos theta. So this implies that if we divide the, uh, the solutions of sine and cos, we get the answers for tan. So we say tan theta, tan theta is equal to, so the solutions for tan theta will therefore be equal to uh, so we divide zero divided by one. So it says zero divided by one, the answer is zero. So meaning uh, tan zero, the answer is zero. And then uh, we divide um, a half um, divided by, um, a half divided by root three over two, we're getting one over root three. And then when we divide half, uh, I mean rather, root two over two divided by root two over two, the answer is one. That's what you're going to get there. Now when you divide root three over two over, and I mean divided by half, you are getting the solution to be root three. And then one divided by zero, the answer is undefined. So these are the solutions for trig, um, for special angles rather. So 
this is how you, this is the simplest way of finding the solutions for special angles. So in case you want to learn more about how to draw this table, which I've drawn here, there's a video which I've made. You can request for it, and then I'll send it to you. All right. So let's quickly begin to solve. So this is the simplest method I'm going to so I'm going to show you. But you can also use compound angle formulas to find the same answers that we're going to find. All right. So when we reach that part of discussing compound angle formulas, um, I'll come and solve some of these questions using those formulas. Okay, so the first one is sine 150. So sine 150 is um, sine 150 degrees so sine 150 degrees is just the same as sine uh, 180 minus 150 degrees. So I'm trying to find the small the the the, the smallest special angle that um, or the yeah the smallest special angle that I can use to find the value of sine 150. So um, 180 minus 150, the answer is 30. So I'm going to have sine 30 degrees this side. 180 minus 150, we're getting 30. So sine 30 degrees, remember what we said, it's simply just one over two. When you look at that table, which I drew here, it's one over two. And because um, 150 degrees is in the second quadrant, 150 degrees, this one is 90 degrees. This one is 180 degrees. So since 150 degrees is somewhere there, in the second quadrant, uh, this implies that the answer will still remain positive because in the second quadrant, sine theta is positive. Yeah, so that's what it means. So let's move on to the next one. So the next one is sine 60. We know to say uh, sine 60 degrees is simply just the root of three over two from that table which I showed you. But in this case, we have a negative outside there. So for sine, if you have a negative outside, if you have sine, um, so, so if you have a negative outside the angle for sine, it means that you also have to add the negative outside there. What I mean is that if you have sine uh, negative theta there, this is just the same as negative sine theta. So that is the answer. Cos 225. So cos 225, oh, before I talk about cos 225, I said sine negative theta is equal to negative sine theta. For cos, this will be cos, uh, negative theta, this will still be uh, cos positive theta. Okay, let's move on to this. So cos 225 degrees. So cos 225 degrees is simple. We find a small special angle that we can um, use in, in place of 225. So we can subtract this angle from 180. I mean, we can subtract 180 from this angle. So we say this is just the same as cos uh, 225 degrees minus 180 degrees. So when you subtract 225 uh, degrees, I mean, when you subtract 180 from 225, we're getting uh, 45 degrees. So cos 45, remember, we found it to be root two over two. But let us check where 225 is. Is it in the first, second, third, or fourth quadrant? So we have zero degrees there. We have uh, 90 degrees there. We have 180 degrees there. Then we have 270 degrees there. So 225 is in between uh, 180 and 270. So it's somewhere there. And we know to say in this quadrant, cos is negative because uh, this is how you know it. In the first quadrant, we have all, all three ratios are positive. And then in the second, it's only sine. In the third, it's only tan. In the fourth, it's only cos. But this angle we're finding is in the third quadrant where only tan is positive. Hence, the other three ratios are negative. Therefore, we add a negative in front there. 
So even here, this is what we're going to do. So once we do this, we're going to, we have to add a negative in front. I'm sure that you can, you can see the reason why I subtracted 225 from 180, because I wanted to find this angle there, which is 45 from there up to there. Okay, let's move on to cos 240. Okay, let me go to tan. Cos 240, you do the same. You're just going to subtract it from 180, which will give you 60. And hence the answer will be um, negative because it's also in the third quadrant. So negative, um, the cos of 60 is what? Cos of 60 is uh, one over two. So tan, or tan 210 is in the third quadrant and then uh, 210 is in the third quadrant and we know to say tan theta is positive in the third quadrant. So the answer will be positive, uh, but we find a special, uh, a special angle that, is, uh, that, is, that gives the same answer as uh, tan 210. We subtract uh, 180 from 210, hence we're getting um, 30 degrees. So tan 30, remember what we said, tan 30 is simply just one over two. So the answer here will be just, oh, rather one over the root of three, not one over two. One over the root of three, that's tan 30. So this is the answer for this one. Then these others, you just need to convert them from radians to degrees. So they are in radians, even this one, they are in radians. So let me just show you how to convert and the rest of the solution is simple. I'm trying to manage to do them. So converting a seven pi over six to degrees, you are going to say, we use this formula, we know to say pi in radians is equal to 180 degrees. So pi in radians is equal to 180 degrees. So we put seven pi over six, seven pi, over six, this one is in radian. So we convert it to what? To degrees. So we don't know it in degrees. Yeah. So when you cross multiply, we say pi times, uh, let me use x not theta. Pi times x, they are getting x pi. Then this one will give us uh, uh, seven over six times 180. I'm just going to say six into 180. That's 30, 30 times seven, that's 210. That because there's this pi, we we'll also put a pi there. So over pi, over pi. So this pi and that pi goes, that, that goes. So we're just going to remain with x is equal to 210 degrees. Yeah. So you just replace 210 degrees. So cos seven, seven pi over six is just the same as cos 210. So cos 210 is just the same as uh, um, negative cos 30 degrees. Yeah. So negative cos 30 degrees, this would be negative. Cos 30, cos 30 is simply just one over, yeah, one over the root of three. Oh, cos 30 rather, this is one over the root of, um, yeah, it has slipped my mind. Okay, so remember what I, if you can remember what I drew on that table. Uh, cos 60 is one over two. Cos 30 then becomes uh, the root of uh, three over two, yeah. Yeah, cos 30 is the root of three over two. And because 210 is in the third quadrant where cos is negative, this is the reason why we've added a negative in front there. So these are simple. Let us also convert this one. So nine pi over four. Then we know to say pi is equal to what? 180 degrees. So we don't know what this is. So when we cross multiply, we're going to have pi x is equal to four into 180. So we say four into um, 18, so we have Two, uh, uh, not two. Uh, this is four. Remember two. So we have forty-five. Then times nine pi. So we can divide by pi divided by pi. So once the link ends, you should join using the same link. Yeah, you can join using the same link. Then we continue.
So this and that cancels, this and that cancels. So the value of x becomes nine times 45. Then you can get the answer. Yeah, so you can get the answer for that solution. Then after getting the answer, you subtract it from 360 to get the special angle that you can use to find the final answer. Yeah. All right, so let's join using the same link. And so when you subtract this times 